We've made it. We're here. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Fix It Garage and what is the last video of the Subaru Beetle? It's been a long time coming. Started this in 2021. It's now 2022, but the car is going to be done in today's video and leaving the Fix It Garage shop for the final time. But before we can do that, we still have some work we need to finish, like the exhaust, the electrical, a radiator fan, and putting the body panels back on, which you don't see this. This isn't here yet, just pretend it's not there. Anyways, we need to get all that stuff done today. So before we get started, I wanna thank everyone who supported the, the channel and the videos with all those likes and comments. Keep them coming for this video and into the future with the future Fix It Garage projects. But as always, if you guys like what you saw, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to see more content. Right now, we're going to get started on diagnosing the electrical issues and fixing that exhaust.
All right, so we got all the electrical issues worked out. All of the lights are working. The radio, unfortunately, I think it's a radio problem because I've got power and ground to the radio, so it should be turning on, and unfortunately, it's not. The wipers, they worked for a second, and then they didn't. The fuse keeps blowing. It's acting like there's an issue with the wiper motor, the linkage, it's causing too much resistance and popping that fuse. So those are gonna be things we're gonna have to replace parts on not going to be on the channel or seen, but they're going to get replaced by me or somebody else. And hopefully that stuff all gets fixed. At the back, we fixed the brake lights, the tail lights, and the turn signals. A lot of the issues were connection issues between the bulb and the socket contact because everything was corroded and worn out. So I just took a nice wire brush, cleaned up the bulb contacts, and scratch cleaned the contacts of the sockets in the car, and everything started to work. The only issue I still have is the high beam headlights are stuck on because the Flasher switch on the uh, behind the steering wheel is broken, but he's gonna have to buy one of those and replace that as well. Otherwise, everything else is working and this car has all the stuff needed to drive it on the street. Now let's go take a look at that exhaust and show you guys what we got going on. So clearly from that little video of the engine running, you saw the pole of the fact that this exhaust won, not the up and out exhaust. So. Bob, who's been helping me weld this, was more than happy to make the exhaust the way the pole went. Um, the issue we had was welding here because it's two different kinds of metal, but we were able to fuse it with some TIG welding, MIG welding to the original factory exhaust, and then the pipe. Over there is the old silencer. We had that in the car. You saw that in that little quick running video. We removed it because it rattles like a tin can with that in. So we have since removed it. And that is the exhaust all finished up and it looks really good actually. I'm happy with it. It will serve the purpose that we need it to serve in this car. All right, so obviously up next, we need to get the cooling system wrapped up by getting a radiator fan to work. Now I've found that it looks like it's an issue with it not turning on with temperature is due to the ECU or the, the relay back there. I don't have any of that stuff to quickly fix it. So instead what we are going to do is install a new radiator fan relay and a switch to power it on. It could someday be changed from a switch to a thermo switch that would go into the cooling system, probably right by the radiator that would kick that fan on when it's needed. But for now it's on a toggle switch. So let's go ahead, let's get that relay installed, get that and our start stop button switch bracket made and mounted and I'll show you guys when we get it all done. So in here we have our radiator fan relay all wired in. This would be for if it was a flasher circuit relay. Don't need that, but we have our relay installed. We've run the wiring all the way down to our radiator fan and then under the dash. The radiator fan receives power from two places. It receives its main fan power from our 12 volt source and it receives the other power from our accessory power source. So that is going to run the switch and then this will run the radiator fan. So all of that stuff is installed. Let's go look inside the car at the switch panel that I made. All right, so in here we have a nice switch panel made up for this car right here. We've got our start stop switch and our fan switch. When the key and the battery are all hooked up, obviously you start your car with this and this will turn the fan on only when the key's on. So that makes it so you can't accidentally just do that and leave your fan on. Although trust me, you're gonna know if it's on, that fan is super loud. But the switch panel looks kind of nice, makes it look a little bit more professional. So that is all of that done. So now we can move on to mounting our body panels and getting this thing all buttoned up and ready for a first test drive.
So clearly, as you can see, we've got our trunk, our hood mounted again. And if we walk to the back of the car, our trunk is mounted with the trunk spring. So that's all done. Car is completely back together and it looks like a car. And we also have it off the ground or off the uh, rollers and back on the ground again. And so far we found nothing leaking. Uh, it definitely smells like an old Volkswagen. You know, you get the fuel smell a little bit. You get the, uh, all the, the glorious smells of owning an old Volkswagen, but the car is fully reassembled. So let's shut these things. Let's take this thing for a nice little test drive. Test drive complete. Car drove, well, drove okay for what it is. The engine's great, the transmission's great, everything else is worn out, which you would expect on an old car like this. So it still needs a lot of work that he's gonna have to do on his own time, but the engine is a solid runner and all the electrics are working as they should. I'm kind of dumbfounded right now. Um, started this project eight months ago, not really knowing how I'd finish it. And here we are, the last episode, episode 25. Car's done, it's ready to go home. Huge milestone for me. Um, I really can do this stuff. I, I've definitely questioned at times if I'm good enough to do all the things to build my own cars in here, you know, to take something like this and do a crazy project on it make it into a real race car someday instead of just an autocross time trial car. I think I can. If I can build this and make this work, I can build this into a nice big beast of a car. That's, that's something that I have learned today from building and it hasn't fully sunk in yet what I've really done. It hasn't sunk in yet that we built a Subaru Beetle in my garage. It's a death trap, but it's a Subaru Beetle that runs, drives, and doesn't overheat. What more could you ask for? I mean, come on. I'm dumbfounded, guys. It works. This this car works. It, it works. It works pretty well. It sounds pretty good. I'm blown away. Blown away, guys. Um, thank you all for the support and the advice and the help on the channel um, with this car. You guys have helped me finish this. Thank you to my buddy Bob and my buddy Tony. They've both helped me get this car across the finish line. Without them, I'd probably still be trying to figure out how to get that darn radiator installed and make an exhaust for this thing. It wouldn't be where it is right now. It probably wouldn't be done. 
or I would have had to pay someone a lot of money to come out and help me build these things. Money that I don't frankly have. So, so this is a huge thank you to everybody. And I'm so excited. I'm excited because this is done. This closes the chapter of the Subaru Beetle and it allows me to move on to bigger and better projects. So I wanna say wholeheartedly, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for smashing those like buttons, leaving comments and subscribing. I hope that this video and this car has earned your subscriptions, your likes and your comments going forward. Thank you guys all for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.